nine years old, we used to take annual trips for our elementary school, and they'd show us, you know, various shows about stars and everything. But that's probably probably where the primary influence of my interest in astronomy came from, and I give that credit. I never fully lost interest in astronomy, it just kind of died out over the years, but it came back with the movie Apollo 13, and I was interested in the moon and everything, plus the fact that I, I used to launch model rockets, and I still do. It's, it's a fun hobby, and I think it ties into astronomy pretty well, but not, I didn't have my uh, real, real influence on astronomy until I came to the University of Wyoming, and I went to the, I took this class, the astronomy class, and I went to the observing labs. That really, really, you know, got me interested in, in possibly minoring in astronomy, and I think I might do it if I have enough time. But what I've learned from this class is, is so much. It's, it's, I can't describe it in a five-minute video. One of the coolest things I have gotten from this class and from the Sky CD-ROM that was in our book is the fact that uh, I can now name stars, you know, that come up in the sky. I think it'll be a nice thing to use in the future because I'll be able to tell where stars are, what their names are and everything, and it'd be just neat to look at them if I ever do build the observatory of my dreams. Another thing I'm really interested about this class and what I've got out of this class is pulsars. I just think they're really, really neat. And I just, I, I, I'm scared by the sound of them, you know, because I don't know exactly what's causing it other than electric, electromagnetic radiation. It's just, there's so many infinite possibilities of what it could be if you find, if you stumble on something. Like I said, radio, radio astronomy is my primary interest, but I like, I like other aspects of astronomy as well. One aspect of space that I've tried to keep myself updated on is the Mars rover missions by NASA. I think it's an awesome thing that we can finally see what Mars looks like in real color. One of the things that I've gotten out of this class that I didn't know before in, you know, perspective was the size of the universe. It's just overwhelming. I mean, it's too big for me to even comprehend. Still, I still have tr trouble comprehending how big the universe really is. But I do know, you know, that in so many ways it's billions and billions of light years across, you know, who knows. But I, th I see infinite possibilities. I see the possibilities of more planets like ours and life out there. I mean, because like the guy said in c Contact, you know, it's a perfect thing. It's an awful waste of space if it's just us out there. And I sure hope it isn't.